What's up guys, welcome to Top Phone For You. In today's video, I've got with me the Huawei MatePad Pro and um, it's been out since uh, 2019 in December. So it's been over 12 months and I'm just gonna give you a quick review of what I think uh, about uh, this uh, tablet uh, since it's been over 12 months since it was released. Uh, as you can see, I've managed to get a Google Play Store installed. Um, if you're interested in finding out how you can get Google Play Store installed in your tablet as well, uh, make sure you check my other video. Or oh, I leave uh, a link in the description uh, below. So make sure you check it out and uh, you can get your tablet with the uh, Google Play Store. Um, please note, this uh, only work with the MacPad Pro as uh, the MacPad, uh, if you have the MacPad 10.4, there is no option to get Google services installed. Uh, I have an uh, alternative, so uh, check my other video as well for the best uh, alternative for using Google Play Store on the MacPad 10.4. The MacPad Pro comes uh, with a 10.8 inch a Quad HD screen uh, with a 2560 by 1600 pixel uh, resolution. As you can see, it's quite nice and bright. Uh, playing your video will be nice and displayed and uh, no issues. So, and it's very thin and only weighed about 460 gram. And uh, the metal, got the metal back and it's got four speakers, uh, two on each side. And um, yeah, it's got all the bells and whistle with uh, for a flagship tablets. Very well built. At the moment, it's uh, running Android 10.0, uh, but it started releasing Android 11 for these tablets. It does come with a uh, Karen 990 with 6 gig of RAM, and uh, this particular one is the 128 uh, gig storage. As you can see there, the, the, the screen quality, it's uh, excellent uh, watching video on it. Just gonna test the sound. And uh, using uh, this tablet on the go is uh, excellent. Uh, you can, if you type quite a lot, I would highly recommend to get in the keyboard with it. So uh, at the moment here in the UK, if you buy this uh, tablet for 499, you get the Huawei smart keyboard for free, which is, I think it's uh, the best uh, deal you can get on a tablet to this type. So uh, it's uh, definitely worth uh, getting the keyboard with it. Um, as it makes things a lot easier, um, especially when you type uh, quite a lot or you're doing it for work and um, uh, you have uh, a few options there. Um, you can have it as an ebook reader, which will switch on if you read quite a lot. So you can just switch that on and then it's on your tablet into an ebook reader. You can have the eye comfort on, which will adjust the, the brightness. It takes all the bells and whistles for a flagship tablet. Another option, if uh, you like drawing, you can get the um, M pencil. So you just put it on there on the top and then it will start charging the pencil for you. Uh, and once you take it off, when you lock the screen, you just double tap on the screen and then it will just take you straight to the draw where you can start drawing anything you want. Connecting the pencil is uh, straightforward. You just put it on the top. Once it's talked to the magnetic uh, strip on the top and then a little pop-up will come up uh, asking you to connect. All you need to do is just tap on connect and you're done. And it's straightforward. In terms of the keyboard, yeah, it's very nice. The keyboard is powered by the tablet itself or through the magnetic at the bottom. So you just uh, hook it there and then it's uh, connected straight away. Once you, you don't want to use the keyboard, you fold it back and then you switch off the keyboard so it doesn't mess with the keys at the back and then you can carry on using it as a, a tablet. 
the tablet comes with a 7250 milliamp hour battery and uh, support wireless charging and reverse wireless charging as well so uh, when you're on the go and your phone is about to die all you need to do just uh, go into your settings under the battery and the battery and switch on uh, the wireless reverse charging switch that on and then once you switch that on you just need to put your put your phone on the top there and uh, there you go you open running so your phone is charging on the back of your tablet another key feature for this tablet it uh, has a, an option called desktop mode so if you, you want to use it as a laptop you just want to switch on uh, desktop mode on the top there which will turn your tablet into a small laptop and then from there you got like uh, the start button on the on, on the bottom left and you have the small icons on, on the on the right like a normal desktop you can just tap on which will bring you some uh, the wireless uh, uh, settings and uh, some notification and then you can just tap on start open excel okay so uh, you can just type anything walk away as you normally do and you can minimize and uh, it will put at the bottom uh, on your taskbar at the bottom like and then you can open another one uh, like word then uh, minimize it and you can open uh, your internet So you can have uh, everything so you can just uh, minimize everything on the bottom like you normally use on your uh, on your laptop so uh, it's quite a cool feature for traveling if you want to do some work you can just use it as a as a laptop and once you're done all you need to do is just uh, tap on that and then just uh, exit which will take you straight back to the tablet mode uh, battery power easily lasts uh, all day um, you know for normal usage and um, so uh, at the moment it is uh, it's on 78 percent as you can see there it's stayed 29 hours uh, uh, remaining the only downside is that the it doesn't uh, come with google play store but if you can find a way or check my video how you can get google play store on uh, on this tablet once you have google play store it makes it the perfect tablet and um, even now yeah, because in the UK you buy the tablet for four ninety nine, and then it give you a keyboard, uh, a smart keyboard for free. So uh, should you buy this uh, tablet now in twenty twenty one? Um, so the answer is uh, down to personal preferences. But I'll say only buy this tablet uh, if you can walk around it without Google Play Store, and uh, if you manage to get Play Store, will be a bonus for you. To me, the uh, yeah, the Huawei Mate Pad Pro is still uh, the one of the best uh, tablet out there and um, for that sort of money you cannot get any better than the MedPad Pro. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think of the MedPad Pro. Uh, that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget if you're new to my channel uh, to hit the subscribe button and enable notification for more video. Thank you for watching, stay safe and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.